Hey guys, I'm PK for Almost Inevitable Design and let's learn how to make a custom footer for Divi. Now, Divi doesn't allow custom footers. What you get is usually uh, the widgets, right? The three column, four column widgets. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually design um, the, the footer, okay? Now, um, this is we have Divi installed, and what we need to do is we're gonna because we're gonna be editing the source code, like the PHP code. What we need to do is we need to add uh, a child theme. Now, I usually have my own child theme, uh, custom child theme that I always use for every build, but that's not what you have. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a child theme that will suit the purpose. Now. If you go to plugins, uh, you look up child themes, you'll see this Orbisius or something. I, I like this more than this other guy, so I install this. Now you'll see why I like this more. I'm not sure if this this probably does too, uh, but this just automatically copies the footer and the header PHP files uh, automatically once you uh, uh, make a new child theme. So that's what we're gonna do. I activated it, and well, if you go here in appearance, there's a child theme creator, and we're gonna click on Divi. Uh, before we click this, we're gonna click on uh, switch theme to the new theme after it's created, just so uh, we can uh, start using the new theme, uh, the new child theme, as soon as it's created. So we'll do that. You can customize your title; it doesn't matter. You, you know how to do that, right? So uh, let's create the new child theme, and once it's done if we go to themes we will see the new child theme now you can if you're on FTP you can download this folder and then you can start customizing it the way you want so the next time uh, you do this you can just take that zip file uh, zip up the folder zip file and then upload it and then use your own child theme from then on so it's up to you now we have all this done now, let's gonna go to editor we can just go to there we go uh, it's all here uh, generated by these guys and you can see we have the footer uh, functions and header now uh, we don't do import anymore for styles that's it's been out it's been gone for a ye couple years at least uh, how we import the styles is now we enqueue it in functions and this is how this works uh, now I've noticed one thing uh, we'll talk about that later I guess that's not important at the moment so that's how this it's enqueued and what we need to do is we're going to edit the footer. All right. Now, this is your footer editor. It's not that hard. It's not as intimidating as the header. <laughs> header is a little harder to understand. But yeah, footer. It's not that hard. So we're going to use this. Now, let's go to, let's add a new page. <clears throat> and there we go. Uh, since we're on Divi, we get the Divi Builder. And let's call this footer. Let's make it a two column footer. And one module we'll use um, test text. Like, um, I don't know. Uh, hi, welcome to my. So this is not important at all, right? You you all know that, right? Uh, this is just placeholder text, so it's not important at all. Hey, I can type pretty quick. All right, so we'll save this. It, like I said, like I keep saying, it really doesn't matter what this is. All right, uh, let's just give this a background color, like some shade of grayish there we go uh, it's still too dark um, ah. hmm. okay and we'll add a, a contact form like I said that you can design this exactly the way that you would design a regular uh, section you can even make this whole thing you can even make uh, multiple sections. You can make it pretty big if you want. You can do whatever you want with this, so it really doesn't matter. Okay, so it's it's up to you. Just go wild, and once you're done, let's put a call to action. Yeah, uh, 
action one oh one two three yeah doesn't matter um, yep so <clears throat> what we're gonna do uh, oh we can check this out see what it looks like it's gonna look ugly but check it out there you go ugly but it's gonna be your new custom footer now we're in the section module right section module right here yeah and we're gonna save and add to library while making it a global item and we're gonna call this the footer oh let's call it custom oops cu custom footer there we go now it's saved it's gonna turn green and we'll leave this as is it really doesn't matter because this is all ajax but we don't, we don't need to publish it doesn't really matter i usually do uh now this is in the library so if you go to the divi library you will see that there's a divi library now this was my old test this is what we just made all right and if you put your mouse over it i'm not sure if you can see it if, can you see on the bottom over here over here on the bottom you see that comfortable hop w5 poopy life i use poopy life for um tests wordpress tests uh admin post php question mark post equals 66 can you see that yeah 66 or or if you don't if you can't see that or if you if it's a long number you can just click on the title and up here it'll say the same thing 66 right you see that here you see that you see that yeah that's what you need you're gonna need that later all right so <clears throat> what we're gonna do is we're gonna take 66 and put it in here now because it's a global uh, uh, item it will update when you update the global item which means that layout this custom footer if you go to the Divi library go here this is your new footer now you can build it like you did with the Divi builder all right uh, now this PHP code I'll break it down very simply for you um, here if the page template is blank disregard all this that's what it means all the way up to here and if right so you start if template is blank blank template then it goes all the way down to here everything inside is gone if it's a blank template but it's not a blank template so doesn't matter uh, we're gonna start the footer with main footer hashtag main footer seriously hashtag main footer because it's an ID uh, get sidebar footer now this means when you go to widgets um, these are sidebars all right now there's gonna be one sidebar that's inside Divi that you can't see here because these are footer areas uh, that is gonna be called the footer and that's where uh, Divi uses these sidebar areas widget areas and uh, displays the widgets uh, we're not going to use that because we already have our own proprietary uh, footer right we're gonna get rid of that oh wait you know what I'll work I'll do this on the editor now we don't need that all right but from here all the way now this is a footer menu now you know what a footer menu it footer menu is right when you uh, make a menu and then you click on the footer as a location in menus uh, if you go here to menus you will see if I don't even have a menu you will see that it has primary secondary and footer right primary is the main bar secondary is the one way on top and the footer is the one the menu down here now if you want to keep that you keep this part all right you keep that part but if you don't want to or if you don't need it at all then you're gonna get rid of everything I don't so I just get rid of everything all right now the footer bottom this is where the credits are and we're gonna leave this because even if you want to change the credits don't touch this because Divi now allows this as um, its own little function here so don't touch that uh, that leaves the bottom footer the, the bar on the bottom right so we'll get rid of everything from here to here from the sidebar footer all the way to the end first end if because that if opens and that if closes here okay all that's gone now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a short code now we can't just add the short code itself we need to add it through PHP because then 
WordPress needs to understand it as PHP and not just brackets just rolling around, okay? So this is what a short code is. Uh, well, not what a short code is, but this is, this part here is what um, the, the Divi Builder makes, creates, and then renders into uh, a layout. Now remember the number was 66? That goes in here, okay? Uh, so elegant themes, page builder, section, global module number 66. You open the short code and you close the short code, okay? So we'll put 66 here. Now this is PHP because you see the question mark PHP that's opening a PHP command and then you close with question mark and bracket and that closes the PHP command. So that goes inside the main footer right here. Got it? All right, we're gonna copy the whole thing, add the whole thing into uh, the footer that we have here, update file, and we're gonna find this layout there. And we're done. Yep, file edited successfully. And now the moment of truth, we're gonna go to the front page. And there you have it. That is your new custom footer. That is pretty awesome, isn't it? So that's how you make your footers. That's how, oh, let's try this too. Uh, let's edit this. Let's get rid of call to action because I don't need that. We delete that and we update it as a global uh, uh, item. And once we go to that page, we'll reload it and then you'll see that it's gone. There you go. Isn't that cool, right? So that's how you make your custom footers. You can pretty much do everything you want that you can do inside the builder. All right, so have fun with that and um, I'll see you in another video. Oh, and check the link below to get the source code for this. Uh, of course, you do have to change the number, but you know where to get the number, right? So that's how you make your own footer. All right, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.